Hello. Hello. You must be Donna. <laughs> you must be John Burke. I feel like I've known you all my life. I've seen you for the last 15 years. <laughs> nice to meet you. Who's this? <laughs> this is my baby Jack. This is my miracle right, Jack. Jack. Say hello to John. <laughs> Say hello. Gosh, look, look at them all. And you're... Kristen. Kristen, nice to meet you. Hello. I'm Kate. Kate, very good. <laughs> Shay. Shay. Luke. Luke. Well, Luke writes a very, very good letter. So I heard. <laughs> yes, yes. Hello, my name is Luke and I am 10 years old. When my mum found out she was pregnant with her sixth baby, she was a bit upset. But Dad said every, everything will be okay and she felt better. But my dad was sick and two days later we found out he had leukaemia and bone cancer. Dad said he wouldn't let the cancer beat him. Mum's baby wasn't due until April. Dr S told Mum she had to have the baby so Dad could see him before he died. My brother was born on the 9th March and my dad died on the 11th of March. We all miss him so much especially mum who is trying to be brave but sometimes I hear her crying. That makes me sad. My dad started to build a pond for our turtle and fish but he could, could, got too sick, too sick to finish it. Mum tried to finish it after dad died so we could make it a special place to remember him but it keeps leaking and the pump broke and mum hurt her back lifting rocks. Can you fix up as a surprise for my mum so she doesn't cry anymore? If you can help my mum smile again, me, my sisters and baby brother will be so happy too. So will dad and his star will shine really bright. Thank you for reading my letter. Thank you. I never got to read the whole thing. Dad's star always shines bright. We look at it every night, don't we? Eh? Well, now, Luke, where's the pond? Over here. Okay. Got a tortoise what keeps him getting slum on it. Yeah, all right. What was the tortoise's name again? Tom. Tom, Thomas. the tortoise. And the pond keeps on leaking and our filter's broken and mum keeps on hurting her back from lifting all the rocks. Well, I'm not surprised. Changing they're, it. they're heavy rocks. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got a bit of work to do fixing all this up and we're going to make a bit of a mess too, but then we like making mess, so, yeah. so that'll yeah. be good. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Tom. There you go, mate. That's the heaviest piece of rock I've ever picked up. Look at all slime. Mm. <laughs> Now, it's very important, we are going to rebuild the pond, but we're going to keep it as much as we can, similar to the original pond that Dad built. So that, that, that is very important. But now, I'm not going to tell you now, and they can't hear what I'm saying, but we have more than a few surprises for them along the way. But the first thing is we'll get the pond pulled apart. Crystal Waters at SAFM, it's Millie and Lemo, 7.51, 10 degrees, 13 today, more rain. But on the phone we have Don Burke, good morning. G'day Millie, g'day Lemo, g'day Craig. We're here on, I, I suppose I got the most moving letter that I have ever received in my life from a 10 year old boy by the name of Luke and it's such an incredible letter. We, I mean we've got a copy of the letter here, yeah. it's just unbelievable. Should we just read a couple yeah, of passages? Let's, from would yep. you mind if we did no, that? No, please do. He's got, hello, my name is Luke and I'm and 10, I'm years, 10 old. years old. She was pregnant with we found her. out dad had leukemia and my brother and was born on the 9th March and my dad died on the 11th of March. If you can help my mum smile again, star will shine, really really shine really bright. bright. Mm. Thank you for reading my letter, Don. That is a really moving letter. Yeah, and it got worse then. We thought we'll come here and we'll try and fix everything up, but it turns out they're renting. So what we were wondering is, is it maybe possible, you know, like I know how sort of generous the people at Adelaide are. Yep. 
Is it possible for us to help you out? Yeah. I reckon we can. Why don't we ask our listeners this morning if we could throw the hat around and see how much cash we can come up with. That would be awesome. Good Excellent. on you, Don. All right, let's see if we can help this young family out. Thanks a lot. Right up, Letter. <laughs> As we pulled the pond apart, we could work out why it was leaking. Two things. Firstly, a lot of the actual building up of the sides was done with bricks. They're sharp. They will cut the sort of liner that was over them. You should always have some sort of sand layer or something like that to put the liner on so it doesn't get cut. The other one was actually there was a rat in there with, with a little nest in between the bricks and the liner, and clearly it was nibbling little holes from time to time. So we'll make sure in the new construction there's no room for any little fellow travellers. It's just what he wanted to do so much, you know, even when he was sick he was out here working. I'd tell him to get inside and rest and he's, no, no, I have to get it done, I have to get it done. It's just unbelievable it's all getting done. We've dug out the hole for the new pond so that it'll sit nicely into the ground. Water always looks better when it sits in the ground, that's where water accumulates naturally so it looks great. This is river sand that we've got and this is forming, if you like, the background, the underneath bit for the liner. The rubber liner goes over the top of this. And this is just a wooden float that you use for concreting. Here we're just using it to level and push it right up the sides. The idea of this is it provides a very, very soft base for the liner with no sharp bits, no bits of broken glass or whatever it might be that would cut a hole in the liner. Because that's the worst problem you can ever have with a liner. A hole. Well, I think Gary will be happy with it when we're finished, but I think you're going to be happy too. And you know, I even talked to some of my, my mates in some of the shows of Channel 9 and that, and um, I even talked to some of the people from McLeod. Do you know, ever watch McLeod's Daughters? Yes, always. Now, I was like... talking to Aaron Jeffrey there, and he said, you know, one of these days I'd love to come along on something like this, one of these sorts of shoots, and uh, I said, would you come along? But he can't, oh. because they're filming today. And oh. <laughs> I know you'd love to have met Aaron, wouldn't you? Oh, I'd love to. Yeah. Are you kidding? So we, I... got, we, we, did, we got someone. Um, mm. This guy. Um, Hello, Donna. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! Oh Jesus! Oh. How are you? Oh, overwhelmed! Oh my God! It's great to meet you. He's bigger than you'd think, isn't he? <laughs> oh my God! Thank you for coming. Don gave me a call and he said he needed my help, and I said I'd be here and I'm here. Oh, you're an incredible man. My pleasure. My Thank pleasure you. to help you out. <laughs> I can't believe everything that's going on today. You're overwhelming me. <laughs> and you, you read talking. Luke's letter, didn't you, Aaron? Oh, Luke, that was a beautiful letter, Luke. It really <laughs> touched my heart. It's a beautiful, beautiful letter. And um, I really wanted to be involved and help you guys out. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Luke, Luke, we've got some work to do, mate. Climb yeah. aboard. Get on. Jump. Yeah. We're off fishing. We haven't got any fish. No, so <laughs> me and Luke here, we're going to go fishing. Get some fish for the pond. What do you reckon, Luke? Yep. Okay, we'll see you folks right, later, hang huh? Hang on, though. How's his, have you got any... Has he got any vehicle to take? Oh, yeah, mate, I've got a limo. <laughs> Organise a limo for me and Luke go fishing. Hey, what do you reckon, Luke? Good. <laughs> yep. Hey, buy some fish in a limo. Yep. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a while. Keep the coffee on, will you? Right out. There you go, Luke. Jump in, buddy. Oops. Here you go. Good. You get in there. Right out. See you when we get back. Are you kidding the class? It's all tonight. Oh no, and he's the best cowboy in the whole damn world. <laughs> and you playing sport and stuff? Yeah, soccer and I like playing a little bit of football with my friends and all that. Who's your favourite player? Um, David Beckham, yeah. Beckham is? Yep. Yeah. So you're going to get a David Beckham haircut? Um, never know. <laughs> The crane kept them coming. Every yeah. time we brought any, the yeah. crane kept them coming, eat them all. How big were the fish? I'm um, about that around that big. Yeah. Is that right, Luke? Well, yep. come here, mate. Yeah. Hey, look at this. You think they'll eat that? <laughs> no. Nah. Well, that's what we want. The big ones. Yeah. Bag the big ones, mate. Look at him. Oh, fighty. He's a feister. Oh. Look at him. Doesn't want to go in. That's a female. That's a female. Is it? Is Tom's a male? Oh, so oh. we might get some babies. Baby turtles. We'll have some baby turtles, eh? Yeah, that'll be cool. Beautiful, isn't he? Yeah. All right, uh, just put that um, put that on Don's tab for us. Thanks. Oh. Hey, Don, for the ah. fish. Oh, how good are they? Look at them. Oh, they are awesome, aren't they? 
And we also got a little friend for little uh, lonely turtle Tom, a little girl called Lucy Ann. Oh, oh that's wonderful. God. Beautiful fish, the biggest he had in the shop. <laughs> now we've got somewhere to put his ashes. <laughs> Instead of a Collingwood urn, I don't go for Collingwood. He wanted them in the Collingwood urn. I scattered them on his damn pond. <laughs> Gorgeous little brother. How you going, Jack? We're getting tremendous number of Gary's rocks in here. I think the more, the merrier of Gary's yeah. rocks. Yeah, you, could, you could make a living at this. You think so? Yeah. I don't yeah. mind working in the rain. Oh, hey? we just need an umbrella and start singing. Yeah. And dancing. Can you? In the rain. No. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can I. We can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have me terrified for a minute there. At this stage, it's hard to tell whether it's wetter out there or in the pond. It's filling up. Now, we've bare rooted a stack of plants. Those are those Xantodesias. And we're just going to simply stick them in the gravel at the bottom and they'll grow. And also, we've got some Louisiana iris, which are gorgeous and they love water. All right, well, I think it's time for a very big boy to let some of the fish go. What do you reckon? Yep. So on the rock, you can just mix the waters, cut them open a bit, and, and let the fish swim out. This is more than Gary could ever have dreamed. It's pretty good, isn't it? And we used all of Gary's rocks. They're all in there, every rock there. So that's basically only Gary's pond, refixed up, dropped in the ground, and made waterproof. Is that pretty good? <laughs> yeah. And you know, you've got no idea how much people around town in Adelaide here are uh, just so impressed about what Luke did and, 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 and so much supportive of you. I know you listen to radio too a lot, don't you? You listen to SAFM, yes, don't do. you? SAFM all the time. Yeah. No, and, you, and you know, Limo and Millie, they wanted to help you. They couldn't actually be here. But... Limo and Millie, I, I've written yeah. to a couple of times. Have you? Well, actually, we're here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you going? <laughs> How are you? Are you all right? We've got something very oh, special to tell you. Have you ever seen me, mate? Oh, it's all right. Now, this morning, um, Don called us and he shared Luke's letter with us. And we all felt very <laughs> touched by his letter and what was happening in your life. So we decided to pass the hat around with the SAFM listeners. And what we've got for you is your rent for a year, which is $10,000. <laughs> and also colonnades have thrown in $5,000 for you to spend there as well. So $5,000 at shops? Yes. Plus free rent for a year, which for is over $10,000. $10, How good is that? And just That's when, you, But there's a little bit more. Yes. The response from the listeners has been incredible. And as well, we've got this for you, Donna, from the SAFM listeners. Oh, God. A cheque for $10,000. You're rich. <laughs> Isn't that Aww. fantastic? Gee, I tell you what, they're good people, the Adelaide people, they're particularly absolutely. the listeners to SAFM. The oh. generosity of our listeners has just been amazing. I can't thank anyone to know about me. Everyone. Oh, you deserve there you it. go. There you go, Donna. <laughs> Look at that. That's the biggest check I think I've ever seen. Isn't that fantastic? Like, oh. Well done, Alex. You're, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. We're done here. We've yep. finished our work. And so, um,. Should come out the back and say goodbye to us, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What do you reckon? Make say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Donna, on behalf of Mitsubishi Australia, they want to present you with this brand new car, top of the range, Mitsubishi Grandis. Okay. Seven seater for you and your family. <laughs> you own this outright, brand new, top of the range. Power steering, electric windows. <laughs> you deserve it. Oh, that deserves yes. it. Yes, you do. You know what you deserve? You deserve to have a sit in. Absolutely. Come on. Come on, let's see. Andrew, go. Come on. Come on, have a sit. Have a sit in your car. No one. I'm not doing No, you're all right. Get in. You've got no idea. Maybe they can be just a bit easier for a while now. Okay. Oh, 
Good one. Well, there you go. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Well, hopefully from this point on, life becomes very good for the family. It yeah, will. It's got to. That's what Gary wanted. That's all he wanted. <laughs>